let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He made himself of no reputation. And uh, this word emptied himself has grown up certain false ideas about the person of Christ, often referred to as the kenosis theory or the semi-kenosis theory. The idea that the Lord Jesus emptied himself of certain attributes of deity. And of course this cannot be because uh, he never ceased to be anything but what the scripture here says, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. All that God was, he was. The word to empty himself means not that he emptied himself of anything, but he poured himself out as a drink offering. He expended himself. He gave all that he had. It's not simply some lofty idea about the person of Christ here. Paul takes this idea. He, he's saying now, uh, here's the Lord Jesus. Here's how he lived. Now you live like that. And immediately our hearts say, well, but I'm not the Lord. <laughs> I'm not the Lord. And so Paul says, well, if this idea of Christ as the great exemplar is too lofty an idea. Well, then what about me? I I have expended myself. I've poured myself out for you. And someone might say, well, but you know, Paul, you're the great apostle, uh, hand-picked, hand-trained by the Lord Jesus, a man of uh, erudite education, a man uh, with a grasp of, of not only the ancient languages of the Bible, but but you could do backflips in the Old Testament, and you wrote half the New Testament, and, well, you had just about all the gifts as far as we know, and you, you don't expect us to come up to that standard, do you? Well, says Paul, you, you do get the point. It, it's not coming up to anything. It's going down to something. Th this is within reach of everyone. This is a bottom shelf truth, isn't it? You don't have to have any great intellect to expend yourself to humble yourself, to get down. And so Paul says, I'm an example. But just in case you're caught by that, let me give you another example. And he says in verse 19, I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly to you. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. And so he speaks now about Timothy and, and how Timothy is going to come. And just as Paul has expended himself in the care of the saints. Here's another man who naturally cares, who is ready to expend himself for the people of God. Somebody might say, well, you know, Timothy, he was, again, handpicked by Paul. He was his understudies, traveled with him for 20 years, learned at, at his elbow. Well, that's still, I don't know if I can come up to that standard. And so once more, Paul gives a fourth illustration, the bowels and mercies the spontaneous compassions that flow from the heart of Epaphroditus. And so here's Epaphroditus. Who's he? Uh, we hardly know a thing about the man. But he was also prepared, whatever it took, even to the point of death, to, to live out his life for the people of God. And so Paul takes this idea. He says, you know, this is doable. It's possible to live like this. Not thinking about yourself, but actually pouring yourself out for the sake of the Lord Jesus.